And give us a sense of, you know, who have more people thrown their hats in the ring? Have people actually really thrown their hats yeah, in the ring properly? And is there going to be... A, are they all simply continuity candidates, like we saw a year ago with Suga-san, who basically took over the same policies as Shinzo Abe? Or is now the time to rip off the security blanket and just do something radical. Uh, Shinzo Abe is proposing something radical. He's already thrown his support towards his former internal affairs minister, the female, Sane Takeichi, but very low support within the factions and very low support in the general public. So it's going to come down to a three-horse race. EC5 here, including two women, that would be doing something, I don't want to say drastic, because it sounds patronizing, but you know what? They've never had a female pr prime minister. Why not now, okay? But anyway, Taro Kono, according to the latest uh, surveys of public opinion... Are the favorites bookending this? Yes. Well, yes and no. Shigeru Ishiba has the second most popularity uh, among the general populace, but he is not very popular within the factions himself. So the two bookends you see there, Taro Kono, he is supported by Taro Aso's main faction. So he's, that's why he's kind of the shoe-in. He's also very popular in the general public. He has more Twitters by Twitter fee, uh, connections or whatever they call them. What are they? Uh, Twitter followers. Followers. Thank you very much. See how old I am. Twitter followers <laughs> than anybody, all of the others combined. And the other guy at the other end of the, the line, Fumio Kishida, he runs his own faction. Uh, he was the first one to raise his hand and said, I want to be prime minister, officially. Uh, but he has... Uh, not a lot of popular support around the country. Uh, China, how does, how does that, 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 that relationship play into what happens? Because it's also faction-based, as you mentioned, right? So I'm not sure how the, the China narrative plays into what they, you know, how they do and how yeah, they vote. Yeah, absolutely. Kishida san who we were just talking about, is considered to be more dovish uh, on geopolitical front. But he just gave an inter interview to Bloomberg on Friday where he actually talked quite impassionately passionately about the threat in Taiwan. Taiwan is the biggest regional uh, trouble spot, he thinks, because of what he is seeing with the authoritarian assertiveness in China, what happened here in Hong Kong. So he was voicing some concern about China, obviously. Remember I talked about Takeichi's son, the female? She's an ultra-conservative and nationalist. She's gone to Yasukuni Shrine several times. Uh, she is in favor, like Abe was, of revi re revising the pacifist constitution. So... You know, they could take... It, this election is going to be very interesting. Is it just going to be continuity? Maybe not. There could be some broad changes.